Hello everybody and welcome to uh I guess this is a tasting video? I guess something like that would work as a title. Now, Mountain Dew came out with two drinks recently. Uh, one of them is recurring, Game Fuel Original, and the other is a brand new flavor, it's Mango. Yeah. And when I heard that they released a Mango version of Game Fuel, I ran out and bought it like immediately after I got off work. Yeah, the Mango. I'm not too thrilled about the Mango. Really? I love Mango. I'm not a big fan of um, mango. I figure... One of the few fruits. I figure, you know, I'll try them, see what to put up a review. See, right, I mean... See what you guys think. If you're try, if you were thinking about trying the mango of, one. They are kind of gaming related, right? They're very gaming related. And um, it's a... Uh, like, they released it for Titanfall because that just came out, so... And you gotta think the other game fuels were released during Modern Warfare. Uh, Halo 3, I think they put it out for Halo Reach, they did it for uh, World of Warcraft when mm -hmm. um, when I think uh, Wrath of the Lich King came out, and there were a few other ones, like, but I, I'm I glad you have the backstory, because yeah. I don't know anything about these. I remember when they first released Game, like, Game Fuel, I, I was so hyped. I bought, I yeah. bought like five 12 packs, and I didn't leave my room, and I just drank them. It was good times. Right? Okay. All right. Um, so I guess we'll start with the original first, because I've had the original, oh, okay. and he has not. So how high do you want me to fill these cups? Um, g give them about halfway, I guess. Halfway, you guess? Yeah. And I do find it interesting that this one, you know, for one, it sounds like it's going to be like Code Red. But two, it has more of an orange hue to it. I don't know if mm -hmm. the camera is going to really pick that up. Yeah, but... it's like a, a citrus cherry as opposed to just like regular cherry. So I, I think I, there's other flavors in there with it. Well, that's more than halfway. But. I personally am a big fan of cherry drinks. I am as well. So. Um, cherry Amp is like my favorite energy drink, which is also a Mountain Dew product. Go figure. Uh, I'm just letting it. You know, that looks pretty good actually. Yeah, that's good. Anything I should know before I start sipping? Um, it's soda, so it's carbonated. Oh, no, no. <laughs> there is sugar. Thank you, sir. Oh, goodness. I mean, I am grateful because I was thirsty, so. Give it a whiff. Smell the, uh... It smells like ice. Yeah, good point. Um, try it. What do you think? You might need to put like more in your cup because the water kind of like dilutes the flavor a little bit. I mean, I'm getting a, a decent amount of taste. I don't know how I feel about this right now. I mean, it, it's it's definitely not bad. I would say more than likely, I'll probably prefer this over the mango drink. You say but, that um, now. I, I do say that now. Obviously, Tim, we're we're in the now right now. But, but I guess you're um, not the uh, mango enjoyer. Well, no, I'm, I'm saying, like, this is good. I mean, I think Code Red is better. And really? Yes. I mean, like, I think, honestly, I think I put Game Fuel above Code Red. Because, like, I like the citrus notes in there with the cherry. It's like, the cherry's got a kick, but the citrus helps smooth it out. Just nice and smooth. It's like when you like wash your car, but then you wax it afterwards. Wax on, wax off. Isn't that right, Reese? It's one of the few movies I've actually seen. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's a classic. Mm-hmm. Did you see the one with Jackie Chan and and uh, Will Smith's son? Oh, the remake? No. Wait, was that Will Smith's son? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was Will yeah. Smith's son. I don't okay. know if it was Jackie Chan's son, but... No, no, it was Jackie Chan. Like, Jackie Chan played Mr. Miyagi. What? Yeah. <clears throat> For real. I mean, I didn't see it, but, like, yo, know, you tell me Jackie Chan's Mr. Miyagi, I think it might be worth a shot. So, final thoughts on this one? It's good. Mm -hmm. I, like I mean, it. it's not, like, super mind-blowing good. Like, again, I think Code Red's better, but that's just me. I mean, 
I don't think the citrus flavor really helped. I mean. Alright, so on to the next one, the mango. Here, you wanna pour the mango? Yeah, boy. It's mango heat flavor. Now, I don't like the flavor of heat, but I love the flavor of mango. I don't like the flavor of mango that Ooh, much. That smells so good. Apparently, it smells really good. I mean, I, I'm really curious, to be honest. I mean, about the taste of the mango. I mean, it's it's Mountain Dew, so it should be good. But who knows? It might be horrible. There's a possibility like, um, that it is horrible. Oh goodness, what was that one flavor? Pitch black. I didn't like. Oh my god, pitch black. I didn't one of my like. Things. Um, what was the one? It was like an. It almost seemed like an alcoholic beverage. There's the bottom of your cup. You got more, but okay, that's no, fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. It, it's got to be close. Okay. Well, regardless, what was the one? It was like um, something blast, not Baja Blast, because Baja Blast I liked. Why right now? Voltage, Live Wire. I didn't like Live Wire. Is Live Wire the orange flavor one? Yeah. Didn't didn't like that. It just um, tasted like orange soda. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. It's like a red one. Yeah. Rojo Blast or something. Something weird like that. It, it wasn't good. It yeah, reminded it was, me of just drinking weak. a conglomerate of alcoholic mm. beverages. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this underway. Huh, cheers. No, oh, cheers, YouTube. I like that. That's pretty good. It's it's like it, it's different than normal Mountain Dews. Like they all have this kind of like I don't know how to describe it. The, the, this is like smoother. <laughs> you just keep talking about how smooth things are, Tim. Smooth. I'm honestly surprised they didn't try and do like a mango before recent, but I guess like mango is becoming more and more popular or something. I mean, hell, even Minute Maid put out the mango punch. I don't know. Well, I don't know why they haven't done a cherry limeade yet. <clears throat> Code red mixed with Baja Blast. Oh yeah. And uh, I, I will say that I think the mango one definitely leaves a better impression. Really? Because, like, I came into that with a negative mindset. Very pleased with it. Mm -hmm. Definitely tastes good. Now, I think my favorite thing about it, though, is that it doesn't really taste like any other soda that's really out there. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. I mean, it's not, like, super mind-blowing. And as far as, like, heat, I don't know what a mango heat, but, like... Yeah, it's a weird name. Yeah. It's good. I like it. It is Honestly, good. Honestly, I expected... I expected a little more from it. I mean, I like it. Hold on, I like it, <clears throat> but it doesn't blow me away quite the way I thought it would. And see, maybe that's why I like it personally, because you know, it wasn't like it was so overpoweringly mango-y that it kind of like. That's what I like. I want mm. just like pure mango squeezed Ooh, into it, a it, cup. This with a is little Mountain my Dew general it. beef with all of the Mountain Dew drinks, like the spinoffs. It's like. They don't really end up tasting like Mountain Dew to me. It just tastes like the, yeah. the type of drink that they say it is. It's like Code yeah. Red. It pretty much just tastes like cherry soda, mm -hmm. which is fine. I like cherries, yeah. like soda. Me Baja too. Blast. It's like it's a lime soda. Okay, it did a good job. Pitch Voltage. Black. It's great. Exactly. Like it's grape. No, I hope he didn't say great. No, but it is <laughs> great. It's great, but it's great. The orange one, I, I can never ever remember its name. It, live wire. It tastes like orange tastes soda. Like orange soda. But you know, I think this was a good idea because I don't, I don't think I've ever had a mango soda before. I can't say that I have either. I mean, it, it's very, very unique. Honestly, it's probably in the top half of these Mountain Dew spinoffs. I might even I'm say I'm, it, that. it might be better. Honestly, and I'm, I know, I know, I'm, I'm going to get hate for this. It might be better than Mountain Dew, actually. Really? You think so? Yes. Honestly, Mountain Dew, I mean, it's it's if, good. If they sold that in 12 packs, yeah, I'd buy a 12 pack of that over regular yeah. Mountain Dew. At least at this point. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because it's new. If they sold Pitch Black in 12 packs still, you bet I'd be buying them. 
but I got nothing else to say about it. I think the mango was better, honestly. I mean, the first one, the original Game Fuel, was it was okay. It was middle of the pack, really. Really? I mean, I, I'd still give it. I'd give it like just before, like j just before Code Red on my list, but after like after Pitch Black and and the blue, oh, the Alliance Blue Game Fuel that they released. If you guys can find it anywhere, buy it. Try it. It's fantastic. Uh, if you buy more than one and you don't like it, mail it to me, please. I'll love you forever. You need to calm down, Tim. And also, since um, since this is uh, the Titanfall thing, it gives you the, the double XP on the lid. Oh, it's on the lid? Yeah. Or inside the lid? Inside the lid. Neither of us have Titanfall, so... Uh, we don't have any plans to getting it. Exactly. So first four first four people to comment get a free double XP code, I guess. Yeah. Give you some incentive. Why not, I guess. But I guess that about wraps it up for this video. Yeah. You got that banging out, Travis, though. See you later, guys.